The Russian invasion of Ukraine enters the 28th day. It's a big win for Ukraine though. Troops were on, were able to regain control over a strategically important suburb region of the capital city of Kyiv, which has faced Russia's relentless onslaught for four weeks. But there's no respite. Putin's army shelled multiple buildings in Kyiv's Obolon. Loud explosions were heard in the eastern part of the city. According to reports, over 30 rockets are fired in Kyiv. Russia has launched cruise missiles from the Sevastopol area of Crimea that has been occupied by the Russians. In the Marinka Twan in Donetsk region, the scenes are of devastation and destruction. Charred houses, buildings reduced to rubble. In Maripol, troops can be seen launching an all-out attack with military tanks strolling on the streets of the city. Colonel Alexei Sharvov, the commander of 810 Marine Brigade of the Russian Army, was slain near Maripol. In Chernihiv, the Russian troops bombed a bridge that connected the capital of Kyiv. The bridge was used for humanitarian aid and the evacuation of civilians. Довжимо ми працювати на різних рівнях і заради того, щоб спонукати Росію до миру, до припинення цієї жорстокої війни. Працюють українські представники в переговорах, які продовжуються фактично щоденно. Складно дуже, часом скандально, але крок за кроком йдемо вперед. Станом на цей день у місті прибувають близько 100 тисяч людей у нелюдських умовах, в повній блокаді, без їжі, без води, без ліків, під постійними обстрілами, під постійним бомбардуванням. Вже не перший тиждень ми намагаємося організувати стабільні гуманітарні коридори для маріупольців. І майже всі наші спроби, на жаль, зриваються російськими окупантами, обстрілами або свідомим терором. Ukraine Russia war has entered week five, but Putin's troops failed to capture the capital of Kyiv in spite of unsparing attacks. In fact, the Ukrainian troops have also taken back the control of its suburbs from Russians. Take a look at the most fierce fight, ongoing one in Ukraine. Nearly a month of this war. Nearly a month of endless violence across the beautiful landscape of Ukraine. But there's one city that stands tall despite the Russian shelling. One city that has endured and persisted no matter what Russia has thrown at it. Ukraine's capital of Kyiv, the citadel that Putin wants but hasn't been able to dominate so far. Ukrainian forces are guarding Kyiv with everything they've got. It's where President Volodymyr Zelensky also remains camped. It was a day of difficult events, difficult conclusions. But it was another day that brought us all closer to our victory, to peace for our state. Glory to Ukraine. In a significant victory, the key suburb of Markariv is back in Ukrainian control as Russian troops were pushed further away from the capital. Ukraine also put out a video of Russian saboteurs being detained in the capital, pinned down to the ground and taken into custody. But that doesn't mean Russia has backed off. Russian troops blew up a bridge over the Desna River that connects the city of Chernihiv to Kyiv. This bridge was being used for civilian evacuation and humanitarian aid. That is no longer possible as nothing remains now of that bridge. There were two barrages of rockets fired from multi-barrel rocket launchers, which was about 30 blasts, if I could count them, 15 and then 15, which was also in the eastern part of the city, heavy bombardment. As far as ground forces are concerned, there is not much movement. The reports are Russian forces are digging in, digging in and making their defenses on the perimeter of Kyiv city so that in case there's any counterattack from Ukrainian forces, they can stop it. Also, uh, that they are probably trying to encircle the city and stay as such and not trying to enter the city. So how close is Russia to the capital city? The latest data suggests that Russian efforts to capture Kyiv remain stalemated. Ukrainian defenses have badly disrupted the Russian advance on the east bank of the Dnipro. Russians seem to be now focused on ramping up their presence to the west of Kyiv. Russian troops have been facing an uphill battle getting into Kyiv. 
Chechens from the Sheikh Mansur Volunteer Battalion also engaged in an intense battle with the Russian military near Kyiv. The question is how long can Ukraine's capital hold out for? With Rajesh Pawar in Kyiv, you know report in here today. Well, as the Russia-Ukraine war enters day 28, Russian forces are going all out to capture the port city of Mariupol. But in spite of the siege on Mariupol, Ukrainians are refusing to give in to Russian troops. Here is a detailed report.